and the consistent message in all the scriptures is there's an all powerful. Yeah. All powerful that's not dependent on the creation. Yeah? Now, what are you doing to connect with that all powerful creator, Allah? Just been trying to be a good person, man. That's yeah. it. That's it. I just, now, I just, how do you know how to be a good person? How to be do, just don't do anybody any wrong. Yeah. 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 And treat everybody else how you expect them to treat you. Yeah. I mean, see, in, in, in my house, my mum's Catholic, my dad's Jewish. Mm. So we're already, there's already two different faiths. There's no two, drink, no drink. Conversation. Join no, the conversation. Join the conversation. There's already two different faiths. You need a sound man for this conversation. There's already two different faiths in my house. Yeah. So for me to, to, for me to, to not, Push aside another faith is wrong. So you have to have an open mind. You, know I mean? yeah. you have to have an open mind. Just very quickly, because I know you need to go. No, that's cool. um, that's cool. The message in Islam is simple. But there's one God. We only worship the Creator, not the creation. Yeah. God is uniquely one. Um, there's nothing before it or after it. And there's nothing. God is independent of the creation. Yeah. God is self-sustaining, eternal. Yeah. God doesn't have offspring. God doesn't have, wasn't born, and there's nothing comparable to God. Yeah? I keep using the word Allah. Do you know why? Yeah. Um, it's a pure word. So now, Allah, you can't make it plural. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's no way of adding an S to it. Um, you can't add gender to Allah. You can't make it male or female, like goddess or, no, no, no. you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I prefer to use the word God, um, Allah over God. Now, you're saying you're not gonna. There's similitude in all these other religions. That's what I believe. That's, that's yeah. just my thought. Yeah, and you're entitled to it. Everybody, everybody's. Just, you're saying let's be good. Yeah, that's just, but, just different interpretations of the same thing. But then, being good, yeah. like in, is there a specific scripture that you follow or? Yeah. I would say, and you tell me how you feel about this, right? This all-powerful, almighty God created us for a reason and told us what that reason is through prophets and messengers. Yeah? God, cho God chosen, men chosen by God to articulate and be a perfect example of how we should interact with people, how we should behave, what we should do, what we shouldn't do. Yeah? And then after they die, the message lives on for a perfect book. And I would argue that perfect book is the Quran, the one you have at home, which you're making time to read. Um, and now, God is perfect. God's message should be perfect as well. God's message should be perfectly preserved. Um, um, it should be unique in the sense that the Quran makes prophecies come true. There's no contradictions in it. It makes um, talks about the past history gets it right. Talks about science gets it right. So I'm thinking the linguistic miracles of it. Like you know, it was revealed over a period of 23 years yeah, through oral tradition, and now. Um, it talks about angels and the devil and the same I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, the same number of times. Yeah. So there's many examples of this. We just think to them, this can't be from anyone apart from God. Something was preventing you now to actually submitting and following and reading, making time for yeah. the scripture that's from God. Because the thing is, it's nice to say everyone's right. It's a misinterpretation, right? But some people have misinterpreted it so grossly, so incorrectly, that it's changed the meaning completely. For example, People are looking at it and interpret it in a way that they want to interpret it. Exactly. So when it talks about yeah. Jesus Christ being God, yeah, yeah there are some Christians, uh, maybe not yourself, who believe Jesus Christ is God. But it's like, wait, the Bible doesn't teach Jesus Christ is God. No, he's the Son of God. Now, what does that mean, Son of God? We're all the Son of God. Yeah. So then it doesn't make Jesus unique in that no. sense. Yeah. So I'm saying that, look, when people worship Jesus Christ, yeah. then that's the biggest sin yeah, yeah. because worshipping apart from God because even Moses yeah. even Moses the Ten Commandments what did you say the first commandment is um, thou shalt not make no images your Lord is one yeah, that's right. yeah. Yeah? Yeah. so now not only that they're worshipping Jesus Catholics are worshipping Mary yeah, that's right. yeah. does it make sense so then you're saying that everyone's right and I'm saying some of them are doing things which is grossly, strongly going against what 
it's being revealed by God. And I'm saying, God is perfect. Why can God not preserve the scripture? Why can God not preserve the message? So when it comes to Islam, there's no room of misinterpreting it. Why? Because it's there. It's there. The Prophet Muhammad, a unlettered man, um, couldn't read or write. How much did he achieve in such a small period of time? Yeah. And this book, like, it's miraculous that someone um, um, a dweller in the desert can ha talk about these profound subjects that even now, 1400 years later, we like, well. fully grasp yeah. and be like, whoa, how did they get it right when it's talking about embryology and talking about the stages um, of how the baby is formed in the belly of the mother and so on and so forth, in the womb, excuse me. And then, like, the disbelievers came to the Prophet and said, look, um, how will we be brought back when we've died and our bones have turned into dust? The Quran replies, you'll be brought back um, judgment day down to the tips of your fingers. And now we figure out that we learn that every individual their fingertips is different. So how could someone know this 1400 years ago? You know what I mean? So I'm saying that, look, I'm trying to entice you to read this book, trying to entice you to actually follow the commandments revealed by God, rather than kind of following our desires. Because yeah. with all due respect, it's nice to say everyone's right, um, you have a multi-faith um, household, but what's more important, to be liked by people, to be a nice guy, or to enter paradise, or to follow the commandments of God? Yeah. And I'm asking you, which one? When I know, I'll tell you. At the moment, I don't know. Have I not made a compelling argument that oh, yeah. God, we should follow God? Because if you've got multi-faiths and one of them is the contradicting one another, so we should actually see that, okay, um, which one has been preserved the best? So the thing is, I don't see it as a contradiction, I just see it as a different interpretation. Yeah. The same, the same thing. But right now, yeah. Jews, they reject Jesus. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah? And you said the other member of your family is Catholic, right? Yeah, my mom's Catholic, my dad's Jewish. Yeah. Yeah. So Catholics, um, the reverence they have for Mary and Jesus yeah. goes to the point of God. So then it's like they're contradicting um, the first commandment. And even in the Bible, Jesus Christ was asked, what is the grace of all commandments? He replied, Hear O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Worship him with all your heart and all your might, and all your mind, and love your brother like you love yourself. And in the church, all they keep talking about is the third part, love your brother, love your brother. I'm like, what about the oneness? Do I mean? Thanks so much. Really appreciate your time. Yeah? We're here every Saturdays. When you've got more time, any questions, read it, and then we'll discuss it again. Yeah. Thank you, sir.